Karen Bryan for MMA Heat. I'm here with August Wallen, who is the president of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation. And first and foremost, sir, I want to talk to you about the organization and, and why you felt it was the right time to put something like this together. Um, it's about time. It would have been good if it started much, much earlier. I think MMA has developed a little bit, uh, what to say, backwards. You take football, for example, have moved from, you know, people playing in the backyard. Um, you have maybe uh, different teams in a city playing and then cities against cities and countries against countries. And when it's big enough, there's a, a professional league. Uh, here, the biggest development being in the professional circuit. It started backwards. The, the International Professional League, for example, UFC, started first. And we, we don't have the big grassroots level. We don't have an international federation. And yeah, it's about time to do it. So what's the actual mission statement then? What do you hope to achieve? Um, in the long run, of course, the goal is to be an Olympic sport, to get MMA to be an Olympic sport. That I think any athlete, their dream on more or less any level would be to, you know, compete in the Olympics. That's long down the road, of course. Um, what we'll focus on first year is to get national federations going in as many countries as possible. After that, we will start looking into uh, world championships on amateur level. When we are worldwide with competitions and national federations, we can apply for sport accord to be a recognized sport. That's what we're trying to achieve the coming years. And I would imagine that backing your argument would be that sports like judo are in the, U are in the Olympics, boxing is in the Olympics, wrestling is in the Olympics, why can't we just put it all together? Yes, <laughs> a little bit like that. And MMA is fast growing, um, it's huge, it's more and more interest, uh, we have more and more uh, people training it just for fun. But if you look into it, if, if you want to do Formula One, you don't go for, from zero to driving a Formula One race. You would go up a safety ladder, to, you know, you develop as a driver. And that we think would be good in MMA as well. The reason people can compete now is because they're very experienced wrestlers. We have Olympic wrestlers in MMA or very experienced high boxers or jiu-jitsu players. Uh, but in the long run, it's very important that we have a big pyramid, you know, where the athlete athletes uh, on professional level are at the very top. But at the bottom, there is a huge amount of people training, having fun, and they should be able to compete on the level they are. What did you do about getting the UFC behind you? Because I would imagine if they're not with you, a lot of things would be a little bit harder to do. Yeah, there, there are others uh, that have been trying to start federations on, in, in different ways. And I think as the professional, um, the professional circuit started first, as it started that way, uh, we more or less have to have support and help from the biggest player. But yes, the UFC is a commercial organization, a professional promotion, but I feel that they are, uh, have a burning p passion for MMA. And they, they as well want the sports to develop as a sport. They, they as well, even if they're doing a, some, a professional promotion, want to see it be a recognized sport by the sport accord. And me and others have worked for many years to get uh, UFC to Sweden to the globe that we see over there, yes. <laughs> which is pretty amazing. Seven years ago, it, it was like an impossible dream. We sat down and said, yeah, and the goal is to get UFC to Sweden. Haha, -ha, because it seemed impossible. And now, seven years later, it is here. And during all this process, I think that uh, the UFC has seen what we have done, followed us, seen our track record, how we work, see that we for sure have a burning passion for the sport that we are non-profit and democratic here. And when we started talking about uh, international federation and what would be needed, um, it's actually even the professional promotions need an international uh, federation to be able to work in countries like Sweden or France or Germany. Um, I think that they saw that we worked in a good way, in a serious way, and they are willing to support us, and uh, we are very thankful for that. And can you articulate how the Federation would specifically help the fighters and the fans, basically? Um, now I'm going to be very, very boring. <laughs> <laughs> the, the International Federation will work to support uh, the build of national federations. And 
I mean, everything in Sweden is going on in Sweden, of course, and it's the Swedish Martial Arts Federation that's doing everything for the fighters and sanctioning the UFC and arranging events. The International Federation don't do that. We're helping the national federations. That's our work. So I think on a on on a level, the, the fans and the fighters they won't see us that much. They will see the national federations and the work going on there. But for them to be able to function and for them to be able to develop, there is a need for an international. So the, is is a. It could be a little bit boring. We're not the, the cool guys that will help the, the fighters and so on. But I think this is something that's really needed to build uh, and govern the sport on an international level. Nice. Well, best of luck to you. Congratulations on getting the UFC here in Sweden. I've had a great time so far. I know Saturday's going to be terrific, so, uh, so thank you. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Good luck with it.